Happy Monday to everyone in YouTubeville. This is the Video Gamers Advocate, Lando Riggs, with an update on the ESPN NFL 2K5 Resurrected Mod version 1.3. With this version comes many improvements. You will see later on in the video jersey deterioration as a result of extreme weather conditions and both rain and snow. We've got real player portraits. We've got real coaching portraits. We also have an update in the ratings as well. I know that was one of the biggest complaints that I was seeing in the comments section on the previous video was the fact that there were so many 100s that were in the rating, in the rating system. Well, that has been curbed in this particular update and I wanted to showcase that to you. Right now, we are going to go to the roster section, and there you will see how the player portraits have been implemented. There goes George Kittle of the San Francisco 49ers, and you can see the ratings on the players are also a lot more realistic. Joe Mixon on the Bengals. You got Stefan Diggs on the Buffalo Bills. The pictures look really good. They look really clean. They look slick. This does such a great job in terms of adding immersion to this game. We have to remember that NFL 2K5, this was a game that came out 17 years ago. So of course the graphics are gonna look out of date, but one of the things that is very effective in helping to bring this game up to speed is that when you have updated rosters in a game that's this old, being able to put in something like real player portraits, it really, really, really helps the game stay up to date. And NFL 2K5, I unapologetically say, is my favorite NFL football game of all time. I believe it is the best football video game of all time. Stuff like this and what this mod brings to the table only makes an excellent game even better, which is why it's so impressive the work that these guys have done on this mod. I mean, from all fronts, from the menus looking a little bit different, the logos, the, the banners being changed in the stadiums, the work that they have done all around with this game. Let's also talk about the updated jerseys, the updated helmets. It's absolutely phenomenal work. So now I'm going to take you through the coaching portraits. That has been updated as well. Once again, just fantastic work that they have done with this mod. And this is the 1.3 update. So check the link in the description and go to that download page. If you already have the mod installed, then you can just download the fix. You don't have to download the full package. But let me know what you guys think about these updates. Please comment. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you're thinking. And thank you so much for tuning in and watching the video. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Hello there, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Gillette Stadium. With me is my friend and co-worker, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game looks to be an interesting matchup. Both teams have some nice depth at the tight end position, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir, Dan. The tight end position is sometimes overlooked, but coaches know the value of players like these. The Patriots have some tight ends who can really get it done running routes and catching the ball. That adds a whole dimension to their offense that many teams lack. The Buccaneers also have a group of tight ends whose receiving skills are above average. That means that in short yard situations, defenses really have to watch for passes out of the double tight formation. Both of these groups have a chance to shine. The question is, which one upfield? You better close on him quick, Dan, because if he's got even a little room to run, he'll take it. The Patriots stole a early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. Interceptor. No one in front of him. Stop at the 20. I'm coming out. I'm oh, coming. Oh, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, on your oh, 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 oh. Antoine Winfield does a great job reacting when he sees the passes off base. 
and steps in to catch it. The snow can be such a wild card in the passing game. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Buccaneers are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. three yards and that will bring up Number second down with the tackle second and six ball at the 17. Goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Sacks don't get much easier than that. They force that one backwards, and that's going to make this third down that much harder. Yeah, they also make it easier on themselves by wiping out all of the potential short yardage plays they might face. Third and long. Brady really rifles this pass, and the reception's made at the six. Chase. Tom Brady launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. Quarter. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless he runs a very precise route. And he had to to beat his man. A couple of the best banging heads there. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Well, I bet we see the pass here. Right to his go-to receiver. Gets the ball on first down and gets the touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. He gets the TD and a little congratulations from his teammates. It's well-deserved, Dan. Holding. The extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. Look at all the happy tailgaters as they get set to cheer for the hometown team. Hi, folks. I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to the historic Lambo Field. With me, my good compadre, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, your thoughts on today's game? Well, Dan, both teams have excellent safeties on the defensive end. The Packers have a great group of safeties who mean business, whether it's pass coverage, run pursuit, or what have you. These guys flat out take care of business. The Vikings also have some excellent safeties. They can cover, they can hit, and they get their fair share of interceptions as well. In short, they can do it all. Both groups should factor heavily in the outcome today, but only one will go home with the W. Well, Dan, this deluge is putting the grass in the mud, and the players' feet are just throwing it right up. This game looks like it could become half football, half mud wrestling. Back to you, fellas. Susie, thank you. Number 12 catches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. Number 12 had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. Not much there. It'll be second down. I don't know what you can get there, but they were, they were hoping for more. Cook goes right up the middle and made... Rodgers passes this one, and the reception's made at the 37. Hug him down. Adams faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Peter, it's early in the game. It's the first time they go deep, and he makes the big completion. What does that do for a team's confidence? Well, Dan, obviously it's a huge boost, but there's still a lot of game left. Jones picks up about two, and that brings up second down. 
Jones used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Ball at the 31. Rodgers throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 29. Eventually, shot. Jones fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. First down, and they line up with three tight ends. Jones gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and six. Ball at the 14-yard line. Number 83 goes in motion. Rodgers throws this one to the end zone, and it's caught for a touchdown. Rodgers throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered, and he just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. He gets the touchdown off a nice play. Fantastic athleticism. What a player. Now the point after, and the extra point is good. good. 